Good afternoon, guys. The reason why I'm wearing this outfit is because I want the cover photo to be as cringy as my content. Yeah, no cap. This week, I decided to start following random fortune advices. My plan is to follow one advice every month. I figure the main reason why people don't actually take the advice, even if it's a good one, is because they focus too much on comparing the pros and the cons. And if you look too deep into the cons, and it might make you anxious, it might make you not want to do it because sometimes it could seem like the cons will overshadow the pros. But my new strategy is to only look at the pros and <laughs> just ignore the cons. So the advice I followed this month was to install the Meetup app. I never heard of this app before, but the purpose of this app is to find people with similar interests as you. So, for example, if you're into uh, playing video games, watching TV, hiking, camping, well, you can find a group for that, and it will be specific to your area. So if you actually want to go jogging, then you can find people who are close to you. So for the group I joined, it was targeted at general activities inside my city. And there are also people coming from uh, a nearby city, but most of them are in my area. Uh, there are lots of events. There are some virtual online events that I didn't participate in because I, I don't see the point in that. And there's also this uh, hiking event that I won yesterday. It was not bad. I didn't really prepare for the event. I just look at the weather. The weather seems nice. Brought a jacket just in case. Didn't really get to use it. Um, I used some running shoes instead of proper hiking shoes. And in hindsight, I probably should have got a pair of proper hiking shoes because there's some areas that there are some tree branches. And if you're not careful, you could twist your ankle going down some stone steps. And when I showed up, I was all mostly late because I bought a bike yesterday from Oakville and it was a long drive back to my place. I had to fill up gas and... <laughs> uh, anyways, when I showed up, there were already seven, eight people there. But I wasn't late. <laughs> there were two more people who came after me. And it was a fairly small group, so they seemed to know each other, but I don't know any of them. We had a quick introduction. So I introduced their names, I introduced mine, and <laughs> we didn't really get to talk about our favorite activities because we, we already started the hike. So in the beginning of the hike, I just didn't really start in conversations because uh, I don't know what the other people do for a living. I, I don't know what their interests are. I was executing on the conversations, eventually I got to know more about them. And some of them are quite interesting. <laughs> There was this elderly woman preaching to a university student who just came to Canada. Uh, she was uh, talking about calling the COVID-19 pandemic a plandemic. <laughs> Maybe she watches Alex Jones too. Well, the university student wasn't having any of that. But after she started talking about how kids these days spend too much time on phones, that's when the conversation got a little smoother. There's also this Italian who saw through the activities perpetuated by the bioluminescent CIA persons of color. This group of people seems to like to visit 4chan from time to time. It was a nice experience. And here's a quick update on myself. Yesterday I bought this mountain bike. I also got a DJI Action 2 to film my first person view of the mountain biking. I'll be mounting out in, near the chin area of my helmet. And I also got this new chicken. And now I challenged the company to a bench pressing competition.